Hey guys, today I am with Erica and Greg at Bike Trail Brewing. Um, and I'm talking to them because they are working together for a cool event on September 14th. Erica, you are with Echo. It is a not-for-profit foundation. Tell everybody about what your cause is sure. and um, what it does for the community. Sure, Echo provides job placement, skill building, day sport, and transportation to people with disabilities. And our third annual tour to Echo on Saturday, September 14th, is basically beer, bikes, barbecue, and a live band. It's a great, great time, and it's a really great cause as well. And uh, Greg, how did you guys get involved with this cause? So last year, Erica, approached us by joining the, the, the event to have their ride end here. Um, we were so excited about that because you know, it's a charity that I, we can stand behind and you know, we believe in what they do. On a daily basis, I can see their vehicles transporting people to their employment. So they feel like they add value to the, the, the community and they are doing that by being out there and doing a good service for, for their employers. So if people want to support this, you guys have a goal. You want to raise fifty thousand yeah. um, dollars. You're you haven't met that goal yet, but you're well on your way. Yeah, we're about thirty-five thousand there, and we should get to the goal. But we need everyone's help to get there. And um, if people want to do the bike ride, there are a lot of choices. So you don't have to be a uh, uh, a bike racer per se. You can do a, a five-mile bike ride on on the bike path starting off of Harrison Street by Rappalo Park, right? Yep. Everything starts at Rappalo Park. We've got four different groups, starting with a family fun route that's basically for kids. Adults are definitely welcome, especially parents, but anyone's welcome. Um, and then we have a 10-miler, we've got a 21-miler, which goes to Percivalville and back along with WNOD. And then we have a metric century, which is for more serious cyclists. So we've even got Cat 1 cyclists cycling in that. So it's not a race, it's just a tour for a great cause, but it is a it's a very challenging route of number one. And the, 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 20 mile, the 21 mile road is 10 miles downhill like that. That's right. So people obviously, when you work out, you guys can drink beer and carbo load. So um, Greg, can you tell everyone about the beers that you are serving currently? And then what is the featured beer of the day? Sure. Um, Typically we have 12 beers on tap, and we always try and have a wide variety of beers to serve all the palates that could come in. There's always a lager, a dark beer, a couple IPAs, and everything in between. Um, on the, the day of the event, we're gonna be serving our Pony My Rock, which is my favorite beer that we brew. And the proceeds from this um, beer will go towards Echo at the end of the day. So if you can't ride and you can't get online to contribute, come in and have a couple beers and you can still help out the charity. Yeah, and the cool thing about your beer is not all of the hops are made in Loudoun County, but some of them are made on a farm right by Morgan Park. So we're supporting local agriculture, um, a local uh, uh, business, and a local charity yeah. by drinking beer. So that is pretty awesome. Yeah. We have all local citizens with disabilities. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, you guys come on out, come support this charity, and uh, come... Bye-bye, right? Yeah. All right, cheers. cheers. cheers.